I invite all of you to watch me struggle today. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome to Sycamore, a brand new island that I just started. The video for this restarting has already gone up if you wanna catch up on that one. And you know what? It's time. Here is a little glimpse of my mood board. So the, the plan is kind of to have a transition to fall type of island with like a bunch of farms. As you can see in the bottom right corner, my map is still my starter map, but it is absolutely time to start working on my entrance. First things first, let's take a before picture. All right, there we go, looks good to me. As you can see, my resident services is quite close to the entrance, so that'll be a little bit of a challenge. And then my thoughts right now are the following. Wind turbines or a windmill, maybe a fake building. I definitely wanna have a flower farm, and I wanna have some land and waterscaping and possibly a diagonal bridge. And here we go with the waterscaping tool. I always struggle with the spacing of these, but we're just gonna try our best here. I want it like going to the resin surfaces. Okay, this is 10 tiles. I know that I once managed to do a diagonal bridge on my first island where I had, I think, eight tiles. So this should be possible. I just don't know how yet, you know? Okay, that's definitely making me realize this needs to be shifted further back. And I can already see we have to sacrifice some weeds. I was prepared for that though. It's fine, we can do it. Ah! Okay, it's gone. I don't even know which one I want. Ah! <laughs> Why does it hurt so much to destroy those? It doesn't make any sense. We can maybe try like this. Let's let's try and choose um, a, a bridge that we like. See, cause I love the Zen bridge, but I think I've used this too often. Plus I'm not sure it fits for like a farm island. I definitely like the wooden bridge, but I'm also kind of thinking about the suspension bridge. I don't know if this is too, I don't even know. What is this, tropical? You know what? I wanna see this. I just wanna see it and I guess then make my choice. Also, while I'm here, I'll just go grab the museum kit because I know, I know that it'll be in our way. Okay, so let's see if this is even enough space. I am guessing, okay, it's not wide enough, I guess. Oh no, it is. Okay, it technically would be wide enough. I do think I want that a little bit further to the right and also up, if that makes sense. So let's try and do that, I guess. Would that be it? That seems like it wouldn't fit, right? Oh, that would still fit, okay. Maybe this is it? I feel like it's gonna be hard to get further up, right? Yeah, cause then this is too close to the plaza. So I am I think this is gonna be the way that we have to place it. But yeah, I mean, I guess this is it, right? Okay, let's do it. And then I'll also just plop the museum somewhere else cause the museum is like right at that corner. And while I'm not entirely sure how big the entrance will be, I, I think it's just, that seems a little too close, you know? There will definitely have to be a path obviously towards the bridge and then from the bridge continuing some way. I'm not gonna worry too much about that one just yet. I think that's gonna be like something in the future. The waterscaping would be nice if it kind of went like this. Obviously the starter river will just be gone, I guess. But it'll, it'll kind of circle around resident services and then get closer and then maybe we can put a cliff behind the building. And then the path also has to somewhat lead to the right hand side. I honestly don't know how just yet. I do know I want some flower farms here. Anything else I'm honestly a little unsure about. Let's skip to the next day so that we can see the bridge being built and then maybe we can kind of decide where to go from there. Well, it's definitely looking incredible on the map so far. Okay, but you know what? It actually is kind of looking cute we might be able to make this work. Okay, I think we'll start by maybe trying to shape that river a little bit more. I have a feeling that little weed there will not survive it, unfortunately, even though it's very, very cute. Oh, or maybe it will. Wait, do you think we can actually make this weed survive it without it looking super weird? We would need to shape it around kind of like this. It might, it might be okay. It might be okay. Hmm. If we do that though, that will definitely take a lot of our entrance away from me. And I might not be able to actually do the flower farms kind of like I had hoped. Well, let's round some edges and then see how we feel about it then. Sometimes that can already help, you know? Antonio definitely likes the new bridge. That's good. How about if we already built the cliff up like right here? Cause I think like a lot of the river is just kind of hidden also cause it's so like thin and windy. I may be seeing like a fake house right here and then we can try and still fit the flowers in front and maybe it'll just kind of continue a little bit to the right hand side you know okay we'll definitely have to remove some of this initial waterscaping that's fine i do think i'm gonna change it all anyways i was kind of just too lazy to flatten it all you know goodbye tall weeds 
Okay, as usual, we'll just kind of work with a, a, like an outline for now. I just want to see what that looks like, you know? Okay, I'll definitely have to bring it all around the resident services so I can fully judge this, I think. This should be a waterfall, so I want to see what that looks like. Okay, it's not terrible. I'm, is it too far back? I'm not sure. Okay, and then let's see how we're gonna shape this. I kind of am tempted to give it a little bit of room around the plaza and not bring it in like immediately. Eh, well, you know, I did kind of bring it very close to the plaza, but that's okay. All right, and I think I want to bring this cliff forward also. Yeah, somewhat like this, I think. And then where Antonia just walked, that might have to be like a storefront building. Okay, so far so good for the cliff and the water. I'm not sure how to continue it here, but that might be something for future Moline. Let's see if we can already kind of create the outline for certain things though. Okay, well, I have two storefronts and I have some wind turbines and windmills. Um, So we can kind of see if we like those. We can try the windmill here and then I would like for this to maybe be the storefront. Okay, well, I like the storefronts there. I am thinking it should maybe be like a red one even, and it will be kind of shifted around slightly. Just generally the position of it is nice. The windmill, I guess I should shift further back and maybe to the left. Or I also wanna try out the wind turbines. That might be cute with the flower farm, you know? Okay, we'll put the wind mill over there and then we'll try a wind turbine here. Okay, I guess the position of the wind mill is like better now. You know what? I might be leaning towards the wind turbines. Let's kind of map out those flower farms. I'm gonna get rid of some of these weeds here. I did get like a couple of uh, codes already. Hi, Antonio, do you have any questions? <laughs> I might wanna get the vertical version of this one right here. If you're interested in any of these codes, by the way, I will link my Pinterest board down below, which is where I have mostly saved. And then once I've updated my website with them, they'll also be on there, sparksby.com. And then in this case, it would be sparksby.com slash sycamore. Okay, so let's say I plant flowers in two rows. That would be kind of far to the side because I think I want to do three types of flowers. Maybe we need to shift it all a little bit further in. Let me get some flowers so I can show you what I mean. I was thinking maybe we can use white mums, uh, orange hyacinth, and then black tulips. I'm not sure I have any black tulips right now, but I need to pick up some other stuff anyway. So I'll just, uh, I'll go grab them for sure. Okay, so let's say this would be the orange hyacinth maybe. Or I guess we could just do one row. So I was, I was initially thinking we could plant them like this. So like two rows of three and then a custom design in the middle, and then like the next type and so on and so forth. Honestly though, I mean, I guess we can just bring it over further to the left-hand side, right? And then the dark one here, and then the white one off to the side maybe? Antonio, you're cute, but also you're kind of in my way right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe single rows would be cuter. Um, I almost kind of want to make them longer also, but we definitely need some room for trees here. I haven't planted like a single tree and I already am going through like withdrawal, it feels like. <laughs> or you know what? Well, actually just make people go to the left-hand side. I feel like I want this space for more flowers. So we might just bring the flower farm further to the front and then close this off over here with like a cliff or waterscaping. Okay, and then let's maybe do single rows. Let's try out single rows. Look at my weird villagers, y'all. I need to definitely, I need to kick some of these people out because like this is not, I mean, Greta and then Rocket and Monty. I personally really don't like Cookie either. I don't like Leopold. Like this entire island currently is tragic. Okay, how about kind of this length? So somewhat like this, this will be like black tulips and then maybe we can do a row of yellow cosmos. And now it might be time to figure out some tree spot. I believe it's going to be like a mixture of hardwood and cedar trees. Okay, well, this one right behind our beloved wheat that we've been trying to save, that could be a tree. Maybe we can also put one here and then maybe somewhere, maybe like there. This one could also technically be a little bit further back. I don't know if I want to have more trees like here or if I want to keep this space open. Maybe we'll have one like here. Ooh, not sure though because of the waterfall. Maybe this will have to be a tree and then this here. All right, okay, well, let's assume that we have two storefronts here next to each other. I definitely wanna add more wind turbines to the cliff in the back, and I kind of feel like we need more somewhere towards the left. I do still have to get our dark flowers. I feel like that's also a little bit hard to imagine right now. Okay, let me grab a few wind turbines and see where I want to place those. Okay, how about we place one here by the resident services? All right, well, I don't hate that, but I do think 
think they are too symmetrical right now. So maybe the one in the background just needs to be pushed a little bit further to the right hand side. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, so somewhat like this maybe. And I think I would want for this to be a hardwood tree. I kind of need to see what colors these are. We can kind of have trees like this, but we can also have some like the back there, like green ones. And I would like to have a bit of a mixture of the two. This one here also could just be a tree stem, to be honest. Yeah, and then I feel like this over here is kind of open. So it might be nice if we have like a smaller tree over here as well. So I'm gonna put down a nursery hardwood for now. We can also maybe use this opportunity for trees, honestly here and then here maybe that might be too much though i think so we want to have like a nice bit of foliage but we don't want to cover our flower farm obviously all right well i have a couple of trees spread around so why don't we just like hop two days and i'll check in with you throughout the process to see if uh yeah i like the outcome so far oh okay interesting see when i planted the saplings everything looked like orange slash yellow now that they've grown a stage we definitely have some green here and all the way over there to the side also there's like no wind today that's looking a little sad to be honest look at these weirdos not broccolo and not leaf they're cute but no okay well i ordered some of the red storefronts so we can try out this and see if we like this or if we want to go with a different color okay well i'll definitely need this tree here to grow much further because right now you can see like the cliff you can see the edge of the storefront which i really don't like we could also maybe go and do red storefronts with the brown at the very top oh my god that reflection on the storefront though that's kind of wild i'm not sure i like the red so far oh Oh, or what about if we're not super happy with like the distribution of the green we could use green mums for the farm also i'm still debating if maybe we should bring it a tile further back and then the just the hyacinths are not going to be as many so we can have that tree there i don't know there's so much awkward space back here okay well let's continue time traveling oh yeah see so this is the 21st and already the weeds have gone much like more brown or yellow i kind of want most of these to continue growing i do think we should stunt these two here and maybe the cedar tree will also also end up moving like a tile further to the right hand side or something and then grow taller but for now i'm gonna go stunt these two here oh okay i feel like we're starting to get somewhere now i definitely definitely need to chop this tree here there we go that opens up the view a little bit more i do think that is very good i think i let this one go one day too far i wanted to try if that can be a tree spot this might be too close to the bridge though yep this is too close, unfortunately. Yeah, and then neither one of those hardwood trees here should grow any further, but then I feel like I have a lot of the same height of hardwood tree. So I don't really know what I want to do, or if like this one should have been a smaller one, or we put another tree here. Oh, that will be actually a green one. Oh, I might like a green one there, and then maybe this one here will be a cedar tree instead. I might also change this here to a cedar tree and keep it second stage. Okay, so we have a couple more things that we need to let grow. I definitely would like to have some tree backdrops for like on top of the cliff. And then I think this tree here might have to move. See, cause I like that a little bit more from this perspective. So you got like a little bit of greenery. I mean, yellowery, I don't know, <laughs> going on. And then maybe we can place another tree right here. Okay, yeah, let's figure out these few trees and then uh, we'll see if we're happy with the end result. All right, well, here we go. It's definitely better I feel like with some of the green trees I am thinking this might be too much now I did change the building around a little bit and I ended up uh, adding like two as a backdrop there and then my plan is maybe to put like a table and some flowers okay so here's here's the current plan I think I will switch this to a hardwood and this to a cedar I'll keep the like growth stages I'll definitely add the black tulips and then maybe we just switch this here to green mums and have the flowers at the top there be the white lilies instead and there we go with the dark flowers don't look at rocket in the background please okay i like the combination of the flowers i am just questioning right now whether it's a little bit too much like the yellow tone flowers are over here and then the kind of like orange red toned ones are over here so i might switch one of these to like the other side here okay i get it if some people are saying cookie is cute you know but like she always looks like she's about to cry which like relatable but the color scheme you can't argue with me on that one right all right so i guess this is kind of what i planned i will definitely have to see this with like the trees in place plus i'm now thinking that maybe the custom design was 
wasn't the smartest choice. I'll kind of leave it like this for now and hope for the best. Okay, well, let me attempt to do the changes that I wanted to here. I'm just gonna try it for now with like the same type of flower, but like a different color or the Cosmo here. Yeah, I think I might like that better just from like the distribution of the flowers. Right, something I will also just briefly do because the cliff that we built is basically just an outline right now. Yeah, so I'll go and shape this here into a bit more of an actual cliff just so we can also start planting trees and the view from like the front and from the entrance here will kind of be more or less complete. Okay, well, at least there's like a little bit of more space here now. It's still <laughs> definitely not a nice cliff though. I am pretty sure that we're gonna add on to this though. I mean, that waterfall has to connect to something. I did want to block off the right hand side, I think with a bit of waterscaping as well. Although I'm also thinking maybe this should just be like a, a little secret path, a secret path in the sense that I can use it. So it's like easier for me to get around, but it's not gonna be like an official path, you know? Map wise, it would be kind of cool if this waterscaping here goes up on top of the cliff, circles like behind the wind turbine and building and then comes down somewhere here on the right hand side and then oh my god those glasses and then connects to what we're trying to create right now question mark that would be kind of nice right okay that also means this waterscaping would have to somehow go to the left hand side now but so here it could somewhat maybe connect to the uh, cliff on top okay i will try and work with this which means i'll just go in and round all of these edges and then kind of try and shape it into somewhat of a cuter cuter river maybe okay well maybe that isn't terrible if they're actually connected i still have a bit of a question mark about this part right here like it might just end in like a little pond shape i definitely want to destroy this rock though what if we just do it like this and then we leave a tile space here in front of it and then we could even use the beach to kind of get past here so you can still kind of get places a little bit faster over here like this end of it this will kind of continue somewhere else now we just have to see if like the possible tree placements for this also work and i honestly don't think they do see here it'd be nice if you can put a tree like right there then i could maybe place a like brick well here and then maybe we can just manage to fit a tree like here and then that would be okay okay i kind of want to make this work now and then i need room for like a tree here which i could do if i shape this like that then i couldn't place a tree behind the storefronts there though oh my god this is too much this is too much tree planning i'm not good at this stuff well but in this case i could i could maybe put a tree up behind the storefront just a tile further back if i make the cliff like this i'm guessing this will look very awkward on the map but we might we might just have to work with it and then I guess for this building, the cliff would be very, very straight edged on both sides. You know, like there, that front part is not so cute, is it? Yeah, but maybe I shouldn't care about the cliffs. I think I care too much about those sometimes. And then that can be in the way of like actually just pretty island designing. The map doesn't have to be pretty. I want it to be pretty when you like walk past there, you know? Okay, and then this would be somewhat it. I feel like it looks kind of similar-ish to before, but now we would be able to fit in those trees that I wanted and also maybe a brick well. All right, well, if we're standing here by our entrance, which by the way, we still need to put a path in and such, but I would definitely want to have some trees in the gaps that we have over here. So definitely in between here, more or less right above that waterfall, definitely here by our storefront and like by the other wind turbine. So the tree spots, once again, I guess we'll have like priority, but we do need to be able to shape a river around it, which should be interesting. This is always kind of hard. Whenever cliffs and waterscaping come together, like waterfalls and trees, that's always when it gets like really difficult. I guess this would be probably like a good tree spot and if we can fit it this also this will have to definitely be like trial and error and then this tree this is gonna be a little bit more complicated because i there's no way i can make the water go around this really i would definitely have to go like straight back for a little bit and then here i could start curving it so that there's curves on both sides and then we could make this honestly go more or less behind the wind turbine i don't want to lose like too much space all right well i do like it on the map like this the way it kind of curves around i think now it looks somewhat 
yeah, natural, I guess. This cliff definitely can't stay like this. Like I would want this cliff to be much, much bigger. And we're still having kind of the tree issue. This tree here wouldn't be possible again. So I'm like a little unsure, but um, it might be okay-ish. And then I guess like the, you know, this tree here is a bit of an issue. Cause like these are gonna be pretty far off into the distance from like the entrance. Okay, I still have one fully grown one or actually two hardwood. Let's try it out. Let's see the harsh truth, I'm sure. Oh, wait, wait, maybe that works. Okay, there's a lot of very green trees here now. <laughs> Is that too much green? No, right? There's no such thing as too much green. Okay, but that works. From the perspective of the entrance, maybe this here has to actually be behind the building. Let's see how much this would cover. Another green one? Oh my God. Yeah, there's like a little bit of gapping there and that's honestly a little bit too much green for me. Here is the moment of truth. Is this also green? This is not as much green. Okay. Ooh, this one might be nice. Well, I'm not mad at the color. There's still definitely some gapping that I don't like though. Or maybe the tree up on the cliff will just be a cedar tree. This is better, right? Maybe the cedar tree, like a stage smaller. So the greenery is maybe a little bit lower. I'm not sure. And I was just thinking whenever I feel like maybe there's too much green going on, we can also turn one of the hardwood trees into like an apple tree or something. I think I might want to do that for the tree in the center, like in the back there. All right. Apparently we have a campsite visitor today. I would like to find out who that is. All right, here we are just in front of Rocket's beautiful house. So let's go inside and find out who is gracing us with their presence. Eh, okay. Not the worst, but definitely not someone I would want to invite. All right, bye. Okay, well, the trees have all grown. It is obviously a little bit later in November already. So most of the trees are now like yellow or brown or something. Maybe the first thing that we should do is actually figure out our pathing from here to resident services though. And then once again, I think I'll kind of work with some more like patches of dirt path. I always feel like those make it look um, quite natural and, and cute. So we're gonna attempt this. So that would be patch number one. Oh, that might be actually too close though with this diagonal bridge. Let's try this. Yeah, cause so I have to do like a circle here which this isn't bad but I think I might have to do a circle here also and then that might be a little bit too repetitive let's see yeah I don't know that would fit a circle maybe we can make this like a little bit bigger and then it could work and then this is the path do we think that would look okay-ish <laughs> it can't get any closer right I feel like there's all the space just in front of the the bridge but that no i could also add another corner here and then it's like a bigger patch all right but you know what this isn't terrible i might do actually like a second decorating video of like how to continue after the entrance with like some general things that i like to consider when i do that uh, and then we'll worry about that part okay with the path done let's see if i actually have any items that i could maybe put in Okay, well, there is definitely a brick well that I was thinking of trying out. I do believe a hand card could be great. Oh, we might be able to include some like boxes in front of the storefront. And I mean, uh, like a signpost is always a good idea also. It would definitely make sense to maybe use some like stack bags, maybe like a bucket, maybe like a shovel, kind of some, you know, farmy bits that kind of would fit a flower farm also. The first thing is the brick well. So I've got it in this customization, but I can also maybe just get the brown one. And then, you know, we could have a bucket in front of this. I'm actually not sure. Th can this be a flower? Okay, this could be a flower. And so could this be. I We definitely need to work with like a bit more um, pathing. Also underneath like this entire thing here. And then I also noticed like running past this, I feel like the, the Casablanca lilies are like a little high. So I'm gonna try and exchange the wooden tables or like the wooden mini tables that I have there with like just the log stool once again. And then they might be a little bit further down. That definitely was not smart. Cool. Yeah, I think that works a little bit better from this perspective, I really do. Okay, well the signpost could go somewhere like here. It would take another complete tile away there though. Yeah, or it'll be more placed like that maybe. I am not sure about this one. Let me pull it in front of this chopped down tree. Hmm. I'm not sold. All right, well, I brought some wooden boxes. 
that might be cute somewhere here. Especially if maybe we can bring these two halfway in front of the tree, which means I might actually just sacrifice this weed because I might be able to just stunt the tree behind it. Hmm, I'm not sold on this either. I'm currently having some struggles over here. Well, I guess you can never really go wrong with like a barrel and a box, right? I also bought a cruiser bike because I thought that would be maybe cute towards like the entrance somehow. Maybe off there towards the side. That's not the worst. Oh, and I also grabbed some stacked bags. These would definitely have to be customized, but I do think they're kind of cute, right? All right, maybe layout wise kind of like this. I do want to work on a couple of these customizations. I've put some um, barrels in the back here now. I felt like these worked a little bit better than the wooden boxes for some reason. And then we have just this tiny little display over here. The next step now would be to change those customizations and also to add some codes underneath, like especially the storefront, the brick wall, and so on and so forth. So I will do that and then I'll see you again. And there we go. It is now a little bit later. I did exchange the brick wall and then I also exchanged the color customizations for a bunch of these items so that we have like a nice balance of the like yellow and green stuff going on. I thought this was kind of maybe a good idea. And then I was just thinking I would like to have a little bit of fencing in this area, but I feel like I can't decide. I'm kind of leaning towards the country fencing. I am liking this a lot. Maybe even here, right where I've got it placed. My villagers are so weird. I, just, I, don't, I don't want this. And also the country fencing does fit with the bridge that we've placed, which I think is another plus, right? We could definitely place some fencing here. I even thought it might be like smart if we kind of indicate that this is like a little bit of a path or like a place for you to actually walk if you want to. You can kind of see like, okay, you could walk here, you know, you can walk past the water and then maybe this right here is another one of those stone tiles. And so you're like, oh, oh, there's like a little path here. Okay, fine. Next up, I think I will go and grab the weed fields and kind of distribute them. And then I try to see where I feel like a weed field will look great. So the one area I'm immediately noticing is basically up here. Um, and then generally I do think there should be some like taller stuff, probably somewhere here and maybe also towards the left side here. And then I always like to use them in pairs like this. That way our tree is definitely drowning a little bit, but that might be okay. I might actually also make this the lighter toned ones because we have the white lily in combination with the storefronts and right now all of like the lighter tone things are kind of centered towards like the back especially at the back right there so I think maybe some lighter tone weed fields over there might be a good idea and then we'll include some more white flowers I think and then maybe the next one could be like here kind of hugging this like chopped tree a little bit I might be hiding it a little too much yeah I don't really have another option though because I don't I don't love this all right well let's place this one here I do think I'm gonna have to move my tree sapling and then it might either be here and to the front or we might place it towards the back yeah i think we will actually place it towards the back just because this is hiding the tree like a lot a lot <laughs> all right so now we got weed fields on top of the cliff right behind that wind turbine behind me and also to the bottom left i'm still kind of at a loss for what to do here maybe this could be a leaf pile i have this code right here here is our leaf pile i grabbed the brown one and maybe our tree stump has to be a bigger one. Okay, so here is the third stage one. And then there's the fully grown one. Maybe that's a little bit better. And then I also grabbed a bunch of my shrub starts. Now my plan is to have orange and yellow tea olives actually bloom, which we do definitely have to consider when we plant them around. We can maybe have like a yellow one. Maybe here we can have like an orange blooming one. I think this here would be a good shrub, but maybe we could actually do like a non-blooming one. So like a hydrangea. And then maybe the next yellow one could be right here. I also wanted this to be a shrub, but I think once again, this shouldn't be a blooming one. Maybe this can be something more dark like the hibiscus. We'll have to actually look at this once everything is kind of in bloom to determine if we like it or not, because I feel like it's it's kind of hard to judge this. So I'm a little torn on what to do here. The one thing I did just think about was maybe using sugarcane as filler. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try this. Okay, so we would definitely place one here and then maybe one here and also right behind this fence. All right, so I have placed around a couple of shrubs as well as some um, some crops. Let's just maybe time travel first and see this. All right, well, so it is the 21st, I think. So we're already, once again, a little bit further into the 
like orange, yellow, brown uh, sphere right now. I do like the sugar cane and I technically also like the shrubs, but I feel like this one, so there's like a few too many going on right here. Maybe this one actually just moves here and then maybe I'll take this one and just move it next to the sign right there. Hmm, it's not ideal just yet. Okay, but we'll ask the rest of this will probably grow in and hopefully turn out to be somewhat cute. I guess I will start gathering some flowers now. Also, just as a little note on the side, I will probably only decorate until the river up here because I don't know how this cliff will continue in the back. Imagine this is an orange pansy for a second. I'm going to pick one up. I did just think there maybe it should just be like another item here and I've got a couple of things to choose from. Either a gyroid, maybe on top of a little stool. Honestly, that's pretty cute. We could put a gyroid there and another one here on the floor and then this one goes onto onto like a little chair i mean option number two um bottles don't know why they're here but why not you know what i'm saying i do have a little bunny oh my god okay that's also super cute or i brought a little pot as well okay why do i kind of like everything <laughs> that wasn't planned yep I think gyroids it is. Gyroids are very, very cute here. I think pretty much every tile is now covered. So now I just have to time travel to get everything fully grown and then time travel backwards to the right date. And then I'll show you the hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully finished result. Oh my God, is rock. <gasps> Rocket is thinking, y'all. Yes! Oh my god, the joy, the joy I'm feeling right now. You should go for it, Rocket. I won't lie, I'm not gonna miss you. What villager do you think I should get? Keeping in mind that the color scheme is something like yellow, orange, red, brown, and green. I think I might want to fill this plot right now with Timbra if I can. I also definitely will not miss Rocket's house. Bye bye, Rocket. And hello, Timbra. And there here we go. We got Broccolo walking around, standing out like a sore thumb. But apart from that, this is kind of the finished result for now. We have the flower farm going on over here to the right hand side. And then we've got that fake building in the back. We have the wind turbines. We actually have some wind and clouds going on today as well, which I really like. It took us a while to get here, but I'm happy with the finished result. And I will also just show you this on the map. Now, obviously, uh, the cliff will not stay like this at all. And also the waterscaping will definitely change but I think the river that we made there is a good start and Timbra has also moved on to the island and I think she's really cute I think she really fits this island and I'm excited to kind of you know find more cuties hopefully let me know what you think of this entrance and also if there are specific other builds that you'd like to see or if you generally like to see more of this island and then I will absolutely do that I hope you all enjoyed this video today thank you all so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next one as well all right. Bye, everyone.